Hi everyone, uh, we are excited to announce the general available of our new feature, uh, Major Version Upgrade for Azure Database for MySQL Flexible Server. In this video, we will walk you through how to upgrade your MySQL Flexible Server from 5.7 to 8 with just a few clicks. So first, the reason why we need to upgrade to MySQL 8, that is because MySQL 5.7 community version is going to retire according to Oracle's statement. Uh, in October this year. So it's better that you move your uh, 5.7 uh, Azure MySQL to 8 as soon as possible. So how this feature helps you? Um, the major version upgrade feature allows you to perform an in-place upgrade without any data movement or need to modify your application's connection strings. You can also perform this upgrade using Azure Portal, Azure CRI, with, or with minimum downtime by utilizing read replicas. Now let's take a look at what you need to do first when you consider upgrading your MySQL to 8. So first, upgrade your read replica before your primary. Second, you should test your application's compatibility with the MySQL uh, 8. And the third, uh, that you should use official Oracle MySQL Upgraded to Checker to test your data schema and, come and verify that uh, if your um, current uh, database is uh, compatible with latest version of uh, uh, 8. Then the fourth is take an on-demand backup. So that in that way, you can make sure you, you can restore back once you find out the 8, uh, 8 version MySQL is not compatible with your um, client application after upgrade. Now let's go to the demo session. First, make sure you have a version 5.7 Azure MySQL flexible server and its KU is general purpose or business critical. As of now, Burstable SKU does not support major version upgrade. However, you can temporarily upgrade Burstable SKU to general purpose or business critical to perform major version upgrade. Then downgrade to Burstable SKU once your upgrade is completed. After that, check your server parameters and make sure that SQL mode in server parameters page does not have no auto create user selected. This no auto create user is a by default setting for 5.7 version in MySQL, but it is not compatible with 8.0 version MySQL. Click Save. Once you've done several parameters change, we strongly recommend you to take a on-demand for backup before you perform major version upgrade so that you can use your backup to restore your database back to 5.7 version in case you find that your application is not compatible with 8.0 version MySQL. Go to Backup and Restore page. Click Backup Now button. Click Trigger. Okay, the backup is ready. Then you can go to the overview page and click the upgrade button. There is two places that you can click the upgrade button. First is in the top banner, and then you can directly click the 5.7 upgrade button in the MySQL version label. Make sure all the pre-requests are met and click the upgrade button. Then after a couple minutes, you should be able to see your database is upgraded to 8.0 version. Okay, great. Our upgrade is succeed. Let's check uh, how it shows in our overview page. See, the MySQL version now is 8, and we are not able to see the upgrade button now. You can also achieve this by using Azure CLI. Make sure you have already executed the Azure login. Then type in this command to perform a MySQL major version upgrade in CLI. Replace the name, resource group, and subscription IDs with your actual value, then click Enter. Then you're able to see your IGO MySQL 5.7 can be upgraded in CRI to MySQL 8. And there you have it. Uh, the major version upgrade feature makes it simple and efficient to upgrade your IGO MySQL flexible server from version 5.7 to 8. More details and step-by-step -step instructions, be sure to check our blogs and our document. We sincerely hope that you have a wonderful journey of upgrading your uh, Azure MySQL to 8. Thanks for watching.